Uh, today, we just want to have this introductory video to talk about the musical notation. And talking about musical notation, um, uh, the staff is what uh, um, is the first thing. And then, um, talking about the staff, we do have the treble staff. The treble staff is represented by the treble clef, which you can see on the screen, uh, the treble clef. The treble clef is, uh, has been modified over the years from letter G. And if you, as you can see, is wrapped around the uh, line G, the second line on the treble staff. Apart from the treble staff, we have the bass staff. The bass staff is also represented by letter F. It's wrapped around the fourth line of the bass staff, which is line, which is a letter F. Both treble staff and bass staff are what we use to represent musical notation um full of them so we're going to be taking them one by one so uh as uh, i hope you are ready so we're going to start with the the treble staff here we go uh, the treble staff has um the lines with letters e g b d and f i repeat one more time e g B, D, and F. So for ease of, to, of uh, remembrance, uh, we can use every good boy deserves Fanta. Or every good boy deserves Forge. So that's a very good way of memorizing it, the lines. And the spaces are F, A, C, and E. So you can, as you can see, that forms a word. And you can use face as the word that we can use to remember. So don't forget, the lines of the treble staff are Every good boy deserves forge. And the spaces are face with that is easy to remember and um, yeah still talking about the staff um there's also something uh, that we like to point out which is the ledger lines the ledger lines are the lines that are both above and below the either treble or base staff so the ledger lines as you can see on the screen the ledger lines and uh, the lines above or below the staff. And I would like to say at this junction also that we also have the ledger spaces. So we have different letters, like for example, the first ledger space below the treble staff is letter D. And the first ledger space above the treble staff is letter G. So we have all these uh, lines and spaces also above. So and then go to the second section of this uh, um, lesson, which is about the bass staff. The bass staff uh, is re represented by the sign called the bass clef or F clef. So it used to be letter F that has been changed over the years to now become the sign that you see with double dots at the back. The base staff is um, having all the five lines also and the four spaces. And the lines are G, B, D, E, F, and A. Again, G, B, D, F, and A. This, the lines are, can be also be remembered with um, memory um, a tool of good boy deserves forge always. Good boy deserves forge always. And the spaces are a little bit different from that of the tribal staff. So the spaces in this case are all cow eat grass or a c e and g all 
cow eat grass. A, C, E, and G for the base staff. Also, the base staff also has ledger lines. As a matter of fact, the first ledger line above the base staff is called the middle C. I repeat, the first ledger line above the base staff is called the middle C. As you can see on the screen. Uh, please post your comments and your uh, reactions to this video. Uh, we would like to know what you think about this video. And uh, we hope to uh, we'll be bringing you more uh, videos about music, more videos uh, like this uh, with different hosts. Thank you. Just like this video, give us a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, yeah, thank you.